The Model 3 and Model Y light issue can be resolved with a software update, but it results in the EV manufacturer's third recall in Australia this month. More than 15,000 Tesla electric vehicles are being recalled due to faulty rear lights, which authorities warn could increase the risk of an accident causing serious injury or death. How will this affect Tesla? Will it cause an economic impact? Here's what we know so far. To begin, Tesla has recalled over 15,000 Australian electric vehicles due to faulty taillights. A recall notice was issued late on Thursday night, which applies to 15,914 Tesla Model 3 and Model Y automobiles sold in Australia in 2022. It is the third recall issued by the company in less than a month. It also comes at a difficult time for the pioneering electric vehicle company, as its stock price hit a new low this week for the first time in two years. According to the Australian Transport Department, the most recent Tesla safety issue in the country involves a software error that affects the taillights. However, the issue does not include the lights for the brake, the reverse, or the indicator. According to the statement made by the department, due to a software error, the tail lamps on one or both sides may not illuminate as intended. If this occurs when it is dark outside, the traffic following you will have decreased visibility and may be unable to recognize the vehicle. Moving on, Tesla company hits low in stock due to the recalls. On the 16th of this month, a recall was issued for more than 1,000 Tesla Model S and Model X automobiles due to a problem with the steering. And on the 2nd of this month, a recall was issued for 326 Tesla Model 3 automobiles due to a problem with the seatbelts. This month, there were 17 notices of recalls for cars issued in Australia, with Mercedes-Benz coming out on top of the list with four different recalls. In the United States, Tesla was forced to recall almost 30,000 Model X automobiles due to a problem with the front passenger airbag system. The problem was discovered by Tesla. There has been no report of a recall of this kind in Australia as of yet. The fortunes of Elon Musk company have also taken a turn for the worse recently, with the price of the company's stock hitting a new low in terms of price and time for the company earlier this week, down 52%. The decline was precipitated by Tesla's decision to recall its taillights in the United States, in addition to ongoing problems with its supply chain and an increase in the cost of raw materials. Following that, let's look at six expensive automotive recalls that completely shook the industry. Hyundai announced earlier this year that it would recall approximately 82,000 electric vehicles in response to reports of fires involving the vehicles. The company will spend approximately $900 million to replace the vehicle's batteries, which has been described as an astronomically high figure for a recall. When a company is forced to recall one of its products, it is a living nightmare for everyone involved. Whether you are a customer, a company employee, or an investor makes no difference. When it comes to the consumer, they must deal with the consequences of a faulty product that may endanger their health or safety. The company, on the other hand, including suppliers, manufacturers, and investors, investors is facing a PR nightmare that could devastate its prices and reputation. Overall, automotive recalls are a bad experience for everyone. Unfortunately, sometimes the company makes a mistake, and a recall is required to provide consumers with the product they paid good money for, while saving face for future consequences. Unfortunately, recalls are also prohibitively expensive and can sometimes plunge a company into a financial hole from which it may take years to recover. Here are a few examples of financially crippling recalls. First, we have the Ford Pinto, $171 million. Ford Motor Company introduced the Ford Pinto into its lineup in 1971. This vehicle was intended to be the company's response to the growing popularity of smaller Japanese imports such as the Toyota Corolla and Datsun 510. Unfortunately, trouble began to brew when the complaints began to pour in. Because the vehicle's gas tank was poorly positioned between the rear axle and bumper, fires became more common when it came into contact with the shock absorber at the back of the vehicle. When involved in rear-end collisions, this would occasionally result in an explosion. Did you think cars only exploded in movies? In the end, the cost of recalling the Ford Pinto was approximately $121 million, while compensating the victims was approximately $50 million. That equates to $655.5 million today. So it's no surprise that the Pinto was quickly phased out. Next at number two, Toyota Accelerator Pedals, $2 billion. Between 2009 and 2011, 
approximately 14 million vehicles from various Toyota brands were recalled due to faulty accelerator pedals. People complained that the accelerator pedal could become stuck, preventing them from decelerating. When you're speeding down the highway at 100 miles per hour, the last thing you want is the accelerator pedal to become stuck. Toyota attempted to downplay the gravity of the situation in a statement, the condition is uncommon and does not strike suddenly. It can happen when the pedal mechanism wears out. Under certain conditions, the accelerator pedal may become hard harder to depress, slower to return, or worst case scenario, stuck in a partially depressed position. As a result, up to 40 people, including an entire family, may have died in a Lexus in 2009. Toyota would take some time to recover from this one. At number three, General Motors ignition switches, $3 billion. Have you ever had your engine cut out without warning? This was a problem that GM faced in 2014 when it was revealed that faulty ignition switches were responsible for 124 deaths. What made matters worse was that airbags are powered by the engine, leaving drivers vulnerable in a collision. The company was forced to recall 30 million vehicles. But this disaster was not the only result. Several lawsuits were filed against the company by people who claimed to have been injured due to the recalled vehicle's faulty switches. It was revealed that GM knew the switches were subpar for nearly a decade and did nothing to warn customers of the potential hazard. The company was forced to pay more than $3 billion in damages. I'm hoping the silence paid off in the end. Moving on at number four, Ford Firestone Tires, $5.6 billion. Firestone Tire and Rubber suffered a near fatal blow to their business in 2000 when it was revealed that their defective tires on Ford's SUVs and pickup trucks were responsible for up to 271 deaths. That was only in the United States. The tires had a strange flaw that caused the treads to peel away from the body. It was caused by the interaction of steel and rubber tire elements, according to experts. Firestone was forced to recall 6.5 million tires and replace approximately 13 million. The automotive recall cost more than $5 billion, with Firestone losing $2 billion and Ford losing $3 billion. Ford ended its 100-year relationship with Firestone after facing another $600 million lawsuit. Wouldn't you agree? Following that, at number five, Volkswagen diesel engine, $18.3 billion. Have you ever been discovered to have cheated on a test? Volkswagen was in the news again in 2015 when it was discovered that the company had cheated on its diesel emissions tests. At the time, the company was marketing diesel as a clean alternative to hybrid and electric vehicles. The company installed emissions software on over 11 million vehicles across the globe, giving those automobiles the ability to detect the specific parameters of an emissions drive cycle that the Environmental Protection Agency had established. Unfortunately, when the vehicle was being driven, the software would switch to a different mode, which would significantly alter the fuel pressure the amount of exhaust gas recirculation, and even the quantity of urea fluid sprayed into the exhaust. Not only would this be hazardous to our air quality, but there was also a connection between smog and lung cancer. Volkswagen had no choice but to admit its mistake and recall 11 million vehicles, incurring expenses of over $18 billion due to the recall, legal claims, and other costs. You thought that cheating on that math test was a big deal, but it would take the company another two years to get back on his feet. Finally, we have Takata Airbags, $24 billion. So far, Takata won the award for the most visible automotive recall in history, which is different from what they hoped for. This had such a negative impact on their business that they were forced to declare bankruptcy. In January 2019, it was estimated that approximately 41 million vehicles would need to be recalled, with 56 million Takata airbags replaced. The issue wasn't that the airbags didn't deploy, but that they did so excessively. When the airbags were activated, they exploded, hurling sharp shrapnel at the driver and passengers. This resulted in severe injuries and the deaths of 16 people. Many car manufacturers are still mourning the loss of this recall after more than a decade of lawsuits and fines. They estimate that every vehicle equipped with a Takata airbag will be prepared in 2023. What are your thoughts on our video? What about the Tesla recalls? How do you think it will affect the company? Regarding the automotive recalls, do you think there might be a car we overlooked? Please let us know in the comments section. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.